I support John Walker. Okay. Cheers. Uh, hey everybody, so I'm listening to Violently Ill. I'm going to do a book review. Dean Koontz. Fear nothing, he will astonish you. He will astonish you at how bad this book is. Oh my god. I know I should have stopped, but it got to this part. Uh, there's one, like, kind of creepy part. And that kept me reading, but this book is just... Oh. He does this thing where, and he keep, he does it through the whole book, where like they'll they'll tease that something's gonna happen, or they're gonna give you some information, and then they don't, and they just gloss over it, like. Oh. So this guy, uh, Christopher Snow, he's he's got he's like an albino. Oh, he's not even an albino, but his. His skin is real light sensitive and it'll kill him if he goes out in the daylight. And his father dies of cancer and he goes to be with him. And then his father's body disappears. And he sees it happen. And it just leads to this whole mystery and story. And it just... Like, there's a part, like... Ugh. You find out Chris Snow's mom was like a scientist and she was developed developing trying to cure his disease but created like it's so vague like oh there's a part where uh, like the sheriff is in on it whatever it is and he's telling uh, Chris he's like you don't know what your mother did and he's like well tell me and he's like no and then I just assume they keep doing stuff like this. And I just think it's just because Dino Kuntz didn't know what to do. Like, he he has, like, this grant... His, like, he had this conspiracy, but he doesn't... He didn't know how to... What it was, how to make sense out of it, how to explain it. So he just keeps it vague. Like, there's... At the end, he finds some uh, papers that his father wrote, and he starts reading them. He's like, there's no time for this. And I was just by then, and it's at the end, and oh, it was just so hard to get through. But I kept reading because it had like monkey monsters in it, which sounds cool, but you know, this is gonna be the end of the world. It's the end of civilization. But what is it? And that they at the end, it's a virus, or it's oh yeah, another like a. People were changing. They don't say what or how. And like, they're all, he was becoming. What was he becoming? He was becoming. And that's it. It's just so stupid. Oh my God. And this is uh, over 400 pages long. It has a smart dog in it. I looked up reviews on Goodreads. A lot of, some people like it. But a lot of people, it's, all, it's just, it's just the same, like a uh, super smart a weirdo guy has like a like a, like a model like a beautiful girlfriend who just like worships him <clears throat> and she's like a badass with guns and then there's this, this smart dog which Tina you know, Koontz cannot get away from like golden retrievers so this was just total uh, when I finished reading it, it, it took me, Jesus Christ, like, it took me like three hours or like longer than that to finish the last, um, like 50 pages because I would read 10 pages and I was, Jesus Christ, stop just something else, go read another 10 pages and then finally I was okay, I got like 20 pages left, I'll just finish it. And I got no, this book is really frustrating, I know I shouldn't, shouldn't have finished it. But, it, like, I thought they they were going to explain. And there's, like, a sequel. And, like, halfway through, was like, they're not going to tell you anything. Everything is a mystery that will never be s solved. And I, I guess they kind of do at the end, but I didn't care. And it's just, it was a, just 
just genetically engineered things. Oh, so so dumb. And Kuntz is a good writer. He's read some. He's written some really good books that I would reread. And that I think he's better than King. But I think by 1990, by 2000, he's just going through the motions, and it's just a paycheck for him. It seems like. I'll read his old books, but Jesus, I don't think I'll read anything past 2000. And there are a lot of a lot of people on Goodreads say how his new books are just just he's just like I said going through the motions, just doing it. He's, he has a formula and he sticks to it, and he sells books and he keeps them rich. So that was just I give it I'm gonna give it one one hand of fate. So bad, so terrible. Which leads me that something I got that was good. Um, I'm reading this right now. Hardcore Station. Uh, written and drawn by Jim Starlin. And th this is good, some good reading. Uh, the, so far the main character this guy, Chief Max, great character, uh, a good in internal like struggle that he has. Interesting, other interesting characters. Uh, Jim Starlin really likes, just like how Kuntz likes his golden retrievers. Uh, Starlin really likes his like Thanos threat level uh, villains, <laughs> and they're really good. Like in this one, in this one. The girl on the cover that's punching Chief Max. Sinner, like, uh, pretty much purchased her from a prison. And, like, he, uh, like, she was kind of just all fucked up. And he, like, got her mentally stable, like, downloaded all these, um, tra uh, like, all this stuff into her that she could use, like, how to fight and, like, intelligence and stuff. And he's all, will you, like, Will you work for me? Basically, he says. And she's like, "Do I have a choice?" And he's like, "Yeah, you could leave. I'm not. I'm not a slave or anything. You have free will. You can do whatever you want." But then she sees. It. She realizes no, like nowhere to go, nothing to do. And and she's uh, like, she was like a weak person, and now she has power. And she figures, you know, staying by her side, she'll just be more powerful. And she doesn't want to. Like, she's been a weak person. Her whole see, it's great. And these two issues, way more. Uh, like better characters, better story, just um, it's really good. None of that, none of that in Fear Nothing. Jesus. Oh yeah, and in Fear Nothing, the way this guy talks is just so stupid, and annoying. And then he's like, he can't go out. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was really, it was a horrible, I had a terrible time reading. And it's just, and I like reading, and then I read all these terrible books. But I should have stopped, I'm not, okay. Uh, I'll see you later.